Hi everybody, here is Stone Paranormal. We're here in Carson City here October the 19th and we're on a little bit of our historical sites right now. We're filming four here at the Pioneer Cemetery. Right here on top of this, you would never even know that this is here. Right here on top of this graves right here, there's a whole monument. It's like a little cemetery, one of the oldest cemeteries here in Carson City is Pioneer Cemetery. And we're up here, we took some pictures, and we're going to let you guys know a little bit about what's up there. And this is our first stop on our little train of cemeteries that we're doing here in Carson City. And I just want to let you know, Stone Paranormal, we're everywhere. We're getting ready for our big event at the Mackey Mansion tomorrow. And we're going to keep you guys tuned. And right here, Pioneer Cemetery. It might be small, but you know what? It's right here. There's houses around and everything. So we're going to keep you guys posted. And right now, we're up here at Pioneer Cemetery. We're on to our next stop. Peace. So this is Pioneer Cemetery. It is the first known cemetery in Carson City that was originally called Pioneer Cemetery. Um, it was here that Mayor Williams Ormsby and his scout William S. Allen were buried when killed at the Battle of Pyramid Lake on May 12, 1860. Allen's grave remains, but Mayor Ormsby's body was moved to the Wright Cemetery in 1865, and in 1880 he was ex exhumed and moved to Oakland by the family. Finally, in 1907, his remains were cremated and taken to New York. The large granite cross dedicated to Ormsby and Allen, along with a handful of headstones, still remain on the small hillside cemetery. So they're, then technically they're not really buried here. This is a memorial. Yeah, so there, there's one body and then one body was transported to take it out. So the guy's body was left here. His name is William S. Allen. William S. Allen. This is a kind of peculiar spot to have a cemetery. So they were buried in 1860 from a Battle of Pyramid Lake. This is one of the first stops that we're going to do for our cemetery tour here in Carson City. Also, a sheriff was buried here, too. Another pipe below it. What does the plaque say? Let's see here. <clears throat> So the top one says, Pioneer Cemetery in May 1860, talks about Mayor William was killed in an ambush by what, Paiutes and, oh, at Pyramid Lake in June. Man, like it's different than the article online. Ambushed by Paiutes at uh, Pyramid Lake in June 1860. Julian, or what, William Allen Scout was the last of, of some of, uh, oh, 40 white men killed. Whacked out to read. It's like it has weird shadows. Mm -hmm. It looks like they buried um, Sheriff John L. Blackburn here in November. 18th, 1861. I should take a picture of those. Wow. Hi 
everybody here at Stone Paranormal, our second cemetery that we have done today. We went on top of the mountain and we saw one, only two people were buried there. And then we went to the second cemetery and now we know where everybody's buried at. Right here at Lone Mountain Peak Cemetery. And we're standing out here in front of this monument that they have right here for Nevada's tribute to Union soldiers and sailors of March 19. 1891 and this is kind of funny that we were came here and the first thing that we saw in this cemetery and we're gonna walk over here is that all of these graves that you see right here they got rest them all of these graves that you see right here each and every one of these graves are unmarked soldiers and it's kind of funny that this is the first cemetery that I've seen that they've had a monument here for all of these soldiers and all of these people that died and they were just given a number. So, you know, that just goes to show you that, you know, it is kind of respectful in a way that we did honor our people and honor our soldiers that fought for our country. But it's also kind of weird and spooky that there is no names on here. The last time we went to a cemetery like this and we saw a lot of graves that didn't have names on them was Merker Cemetery. So this is the second time here in Carson City for our Stone Paranormal cemeteries and our historical sites here at Lone Mountain Peak. And we're just gonna go around a little bit, everybody, and let you guys see what's going on out here and see some of the graves. I mean, there's a lot of old graves it's like we're looking at this one right here. This is an old Mason's grave. Mr. Charles H. Kalisha, born April 1845, died July 21st, 1898, age 53 years old in three days. And right beside him, we have more soldiers and now you can kind of see why we have out here with the monument and for all the soldiers and people that have passed away here we have another mason's grave mr philip doyle he was a mason from 1842 to 1908 that's a real interesting grave right there it's warm and as we come over here we can start to see some this is the babies son of G.A. and E.J. Wilcox died October the 10th 19, 1890 age 8 months and 2 days happy infant early blessed rest in peace and slumber poor baby you know but we all know that back then during them times people didn't live as long as people live now you know the average age 35 40 years old so you know when you come into cemeteries like this it's not you know, it's quite not so rare to see children's graves. And people are wondering why I'm always fascinated with what's going on in the grave sites is because you gotta follow the dead in order to follow the history because the history is always gonna lead you to the people. And so as a result, we wanna know where the final resting place is for these people and a lot of times for a lot of the hauntings and things that are going on in Carson City in its heyday it was doing some things okay this is just a little stop for us on our way to Virginia City where we're going to be at the Mackey Mansion tomorrow and we're going to you know let you guys all in on that and everything that's going on there because we have an historical event watch where you're stepping in graves everywhere man and so right now you know what being a psychic medium, I'm just being led to certain graves. And like this one right here, that's an old school grave right there. That one that's on the bottom, in memory of Clara E. Foss, wife of William E. Price, lived 27 years, departed. Wow. She was only 27 years old when she died. This is a beautiful grave right here, all this cast iron. And as we turn around, here's something else. It's like I'm just led to these cast iron graves right here. 
You know, these people, I'm going to tell you something, to have this kind of grave stuff, they had to be, you know, they had to have some damn money. Let's see, what's that? Harrison Shivers, November the 16th, 1846, in Lancaster, Ohio, died in Carson City, Nevada, March 11, 1874. See, that person was also like 27 years old, three months and 23 days. And I'm seeing a pattern here with a lot of these these graves and everything that is going on look at that that's like the reaper that's really gothic and old school that's beautiful the winds picking up whenever I say the winds picking up I know the spirits are picking up and here we coming across this is cool tough white dust January 7, 1889, age 60 years, 100 days, died 1891, age 73. So that's husband and wife. But the real thing is what's giving, once again, look, over the grave, there's that covering. But I notice on each one of these graves, they not only tell you the date that they died, but it tells you in days. What is the sign? 18. See, George served as Nevada State Treasurer. He op operated the St. Charles Hotel located in 310 South Carson Street. The building is listed in the National Registry of Historical Places of the United States. Sophie, Sophie and George settled in Carson City in the late 1850s. The Tuffley's daughter, Louisa, married Harrison Shrives, a Civil War veteran and first conductor of the passenger train service offered by the Virginia and Truckee Railroad. Wow, that's pretty cool. So these people were prominent here in Carson City and their children went on to be a part of the railroads and all those things that are going on. And I, I saw this from afar. We got to get this right here. This is, this is crazy. Look at this. P.H. Clayton, 1819 to 1874. P.H. was a founding member of the Democratic Party in Nevada. He was territorial era attorney and involved in much of the early legislation that affected Nevada. A notorious sessionist, P.H. served a three-week sentence of carrying a hundred-pound sack of flour around the parade grounds at Fort Churchill, today in Nevada State Park. He served with the Carson Rangers during the Pyramid Lake War in 1860. So this dude right here, You know what, these tombs right here kind of, this right here kind of give me a little feel of when I was in Louisiana. And if you look at it, it's like his tomb is a pyramid kind of shape and then domed out. I'm really digging this one. Native of Ohio, June 13th, 1875. So also here at this grave, not only is this person buried here, but their infant son is buried here also. Let's take a little bit more of a little walk around here because this, this is just funny that they reburied a lot of people here. So a lot of these graves here are new, they're not like you know, like they just put here to begin with. Some of them have been are transplants from other cemeteries in Carson City Cemetery, and they were buried here. That person just got Jesus in his name. Serious. Wow, look at this right here. You know what, if I didn't know any better, I would think that this was some, some real Masonic stuff that's going on here because of these pillars. This is the first time in my whole life that I've ever seen pillars like this.
not just from the wind. But you know, as I'm sitting here and it's like something just keeps leading me over here to these cast iron gates. It's like I keep following them. And it's like every time we get close to one of them, you know, it just it's like more interesting. Remember the other grave that we saw over there that had the wood and then they turned around and put a new modernized one? I don't see a modernized one on this one. I just see a wooden tombstone. So I'm wondering if this person was buried someplace else and then buried here. Wow, look at this. Look at that. That looks like a face. Respect. Died October the 15th, 1878, 33 years old. Remember, I told you back then people didn't live that long. That's why a lot of these graves and things that we're coming to, a lot of them are, you know what, they, they're they all within 35, 40 years old, just like I told everybody from the beginning. But it seems like where we have pillars over there, we have crosses here. What? If I'm looking, I'm wondering if these are all, the, all these people have been cremated and then put into the ground. That's what it's looking like to me. That's weird, a whole family. And it seems like, you know what? You wonder who built the Uni continental United States of America people? Are the Masons, okay? And here we go again, there's another Mason. A.S. Richardson, M.D., Doctor. Died October the 4th, 1882. Sleep until called. What do they mean by that? Sleep until called. See, there's a lot of mystery behind the Masons and their practices. And unless you're a Mason, you're only going to know what's going on. But you know what? That right there is very telling that it's saying sleep until called. So who's going to do the calling? Okay, the Masons are always behind a lot of mysticism and a lot of things that are going on historically and occult-wise. And a lot of them, you know what, we're into a lot of things that a lot of people are that are just not into, you know. It wasn't just a Christian base, it was a, a lot of mythical things, it was a lot of Egyptian, there was a lot of occult. There was a lot of things that were going on, the square, the compass, the complete roundness, the, you know, the circulations of life. You know, the G, they say, stand for God. But this is the first time I ever seen that a Mason's grave said, sleep into a call. And I'm very, very curious who's gonna be doing the calling to call this person back to the grave. That's, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. cemetery I just come in and I just get led to certain things certain spirits have things that they want to say just like that I keep looking back at that grave right there until called I'm just very very curious that what the only thing I can think of that when you think about that is somebody ritualistically going to come back and raise this person's spirit or raise them back from the grave or whom did they sell their soul or whom did they have an allegiance to that they have the rights to be able to think that they can live again and that they can be called again that's some real occulty type shit right there okay seriously that's like 
I don't know. That's that's not rubbing me exactly on the right way right here. And then we look. There's there's these underneath this beautiful tree. In my religion, we believe the trees that branch off like this are legba, and it's the opener of all the gates and the only person who knows where God's true house is at. And we have these people. buried right underneath this tree and some of them is buried as 1999 2001 I mean the tree is just breaking it I mean the tombstones and everything the tree of life is just taking and breaking and it's just taking over this is beautiful but yet it's kind of like creepy too because if this tree could only talk, I think it'd have a tale to tell. Because all of these graves up underneath this tree, except for the old one right there, are all very old graves. You know, I'm noticing another trend. If you could focus in on this grave right here that has the gates opening in the dove, and then here's another um, grave site over here with the gates opening, and there's a dove. There has to be some semblance to that because just like the other ones that we saw with the shrouding over it, you know, then we have these ones right here, and it's like the gates are open. only sleeping and it seems right here that Mr. McCriminan Nevada Corporal of the United States Volume Cavalry Spanish American War 1879 to October 7th 1962 this man lived a long time There's a lot of symbology that's going in here. There's a lot of masons that are buried here, which we know were very key factors from even our, our first president, George Washington, who was a predominant mason. And you can even see him depicted in a lot of his photos of him with his masonic apron. And you know what, laying of the cornerstones and all these things. And we look here at the, just the grave and the energy out here is peaceful, but then again, you know, I also feel that it's a lot of unrest that's out here and the wind's blowing. So I, I always believe that spirits come through water and they come through the wind and that there's a lot of unrest out here. There's a lot of spirits that are out here that are not happy that they removed from their graves. And you know what? That's kind of sad because you're interred in one spot and then the next spot, somebody can just come and move your grave because they want to build houses there. They want to do all of these things. And that's why we come to these cemeteries because these cemeteries is like an open book. You can learn so much if you just spiritually open up your eyes, and open up your ears and pay attention to the wind, pay attention to the ground, pay attention to the graves. And you know, it just like the scene, the covering of the graves, you know, that's old school. Okay, that goes back to like when they used to cover the mirrors in the house and everything, the opening of the gates. You know, we're seeing different symbology and different things that are going on here in this cemetery that I haven't seen in a lot of other cemeteries. And there's also just some people that are up in here that are bold as hell and saying that, listen, I will be back when somebody summon me, okay? So if you ever get a chance, you need to come out here to this Lone Peak Cemetery out here in Carson City and you need to take a walk around. It's a living history and it's a part of Carson City because the people that helped build it and the people that helped fund it, the people that helped with the railroads, soldiers, people who helped defend this land, people who came here to try to make better for them lives and their family, they are all here within this cemetery. So 
keep checking us out here at Stone Paranormal. You can find us on YouTube, okay, under Gorilla Mafia Entertainment LLC Media. And we're gonna get we're gonna keep doing these cemeteries and we're gonna keep trying to every place that we go to. We always like to go to the cemetery so that we can find out a little bit about the people that were here and then we go to the locations and then we can understand why some of these places are haunted why they have residual energy why they have negative energy why are these things because just sitting here in this graveyard i can understand why people stay pissed because if somebody moved my body i wouldn't be a happy camper either so we'll get back with you guys and i want to thank you for being here and coming through the cemetery with us today and you know what keep checking us out okay?